Whoa, what up? It's your boy E with Boxing Profits, bringing that toe to toe value that's undisputed in this industry. And I'm going to get straight to the point right here, you dead. The WBC Junior Middleweight Champion, Jamel Lions Only, aka Jamel Iron Man Charlo, is taking on the Unified Champion, Jason Banana Rosario, on Showtime PBC pay per view this month in two weeks on September the 26th, and I'm extremely excited about it, and I wanted to talk about something I observed in this video. So, let's go. Jamel Charlo, on his YouTube platform, um, Ringside with the Lions, I'll uh, link the video below. Man, Jamel Charlo, man, he's, he's, man, this dude training methodology, man, looks extreme, man. You know what I'm saying? Jamel Charlo, I've always believed, has been a strong, violent fighter. I love his style in the ring. You know what I'm saying? Jamel Charlo is one of those unique fighters who brings brute force with an intelligent approach. And when you when you converge, you know what I'm saying, your mind, your body, and your heart together, you will lead through individual. I'm telling y'all what it is, bro. And the way they robbed Jamel Charlo in his first fight with um, uh, Tony Harrison, man, they, they, they woke up a sleeping giant. Now, this dude had always been sleeping. He just... He's just one of those fighters that's so smart, he's looking for ways to e evolve himself. And that's all he was doing, was trying to just utilize a different technique, a different strategy for um, Tony Harrison. And they wound up robbing him, you know what I'm saying? Sort of like they did Phoenix Marina as against uh, that guy Roley or whatever. You know what I mean? But that, that's neither here nor there. You know, so what I'm saying is that Jamel Charlo is, tra is training with this Asian doctor, man. And let me tell you something, man. This, this new cutting edge training philosophy that he's adding into his um, regimen and his routine, man, 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 I'm telling y'all, man, Jason Rosario, the, the dude is in big trouble, okay? Um, th this training system looks very, very unique, and it looks like, you know, it, it, it touches on muscles, you know what I'm saying, that that's just not, you know, it's just not, it, you can't get to those muscles in normal conditions, you just can't get to them by swimming and biking and push-ups and whatnot. And it's very, very intelligent because it seems like, like he's trying to increase his core and his lower body strength, and to to like bridge the the lower body with the upper body. And man, when I'm telling y'all, man, if he puts that all together, you know what I'm saying? For this fight coming up, bro, it's gonna be in the new. You understand? It's gonna be a short night. And like I like I said before, man, they, they need to go ahead. If it's all your people, they need to go ahead and bring that that smelling salt. They need to bring that special uh, Santa Marina or that special Dominican Republican smelling salt up to uh, Connecticut with them, because they definitely gonna need it up north, bro. I'm telling y'all, man, it's because <laughs> that boy gonna suffer for some serious jet lag heading back down to the Dominican Dominican Republican. After he um after he gets finished with Jamel Char uh, Charlo, I'm just warning y'all. You know what I'm saying? Cause that new training methodology, bro, it seems to be the truth. You know what I'm saying? And the manner and the arrangement. You know what I'm saying? And 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 just the way the enhanced routine was being applied. You know what I'm saying? You can tell that um that this is a this is a process that Jamel Charlo decided he willfully decided to become one of the most violent. Uh, junior middleweights in the world, right? And, and man, that's something I'm extremely excited about, bro. And, and and not only that, but he's also sparring. He's getting some of the best sparring in the world from Errol the True Spence Jr. So I'm telling y'all, man, it's it's gonna be an explosive night on pay per view. I'm definitely ordering it. I definitely believe in my heart that that seventy five dollar ticket is well worth the price. It's well under market value. For what we getting, we getting what five championship fights in one night. Not only that, but we're going to get uh, the the best Jamel Charlo that we've ever seen before. I'm telling y'all, man, he he's gonna he he's he from this point forward, from 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 this moment on, I don't see anybody um, defeating Jamel Charlo, right? I, I just don't see it. I, I just think that this guy is just too far advanced mentally and physically for anybody to touch him. I'm saying anything can happen in boxing and stuff like that, bro. But now I'm telling you, bro, this dude, he's going he's gonna to definitely go down as one of the greatest uh, junior middleweights that's ever existed. We're definitely going to be talking about Jamel Charlo 50, 60 years from now. And I'm not just saying that because I'm being biased because, you know what I'm saying, it's my brother and we from the South and shit like that. No, no, no. I'm telling y'all what I'm observing, okay? I've never seen 
a training methodology applied like that before and how he mastered the routine immediately. I'm telling y'all, this dude, his system, everything is, is, is clicking right. And um, like I say, man, Jason Rosario and his people better have that white flag. They better have that white towel ready. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I wouldn't want to see my uh, my fellow brother, you know what I'm saying? My fellow colored brother, you know what I'm saying? You know, taking an L in that ring where he can't come back from because uh, Jamel Charlo ain't nothing to play with. And, you know what I'm saying? They can just um, convert this information, just process this information and, um, you know what I'm saying? What am I trying to say? Translate what I'm saying to him so that it can be in his mind as a felt warning to, um, to, 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 you know, don't be stupid and try to go out on your shield against somebody who's training all these extra muscle groups, right? Well, anyway, man, you know, something else I wanted to touch on in this video right quick, bro. Since all these undisputed things are starting to swirl around in the atmosphere, all these synthetic undisputed matchups and whatnot, I got a great idea. Won Marucio Suleiman just go ahead and make Jamel Charlo the franchise champion after this fight, right? Have him drop that WBC title. Have one of um, Jerry Hurd or J. Rock Williams fight for that title. Allow Jamel Charlo with his franchise champion capability to go and challenge that guy Texariot because he over there babysitting that goddamn WBO title on, um, on ESPN with fucking top rank or whatever the fuck he at. He over there babysitting that title over there. You know what I'm saying? You make um, Charlo the franchise champion so he can go and challenge that guy you know what I'm saying? So he can unify with that guy, wipe him out of the ring, okay? And then bring that belt back home to the United States so that we can have a real undisputed uh, junior middleweight championship between the winner of Jay Rock and Jerry Hurd or Arizona Law or one of those guys. And that'll be huge business once we get the fans in the stands next year or the year after or whenever, this, whenever these COVID-19 so streets dry up. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? That's something I'm definitely looking forward to. Uh, Marucio Suleiman, he needs to be the, 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 the visionary leader and allow Jamel Charlo to become the first black, um, you know what I'm saying, franchise champion, right? Black Lives Matter, right? Marucio Suleiman, right? You, you, you can feel that, right? So you got to make Jamel Charlo the franchise champion. You need some more franchise champions, bro. You need to make Errol Spence the franchise champion after he demolished Danny Swift Garcia, and you need to make um, you need to make uh, 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 Jamel Charlo the franchise champion. You know what I'm saying? You need to utilize that franchise championship as a way to fucking clear up some of these murkiness in the divisions that need to be cleaned up, that need to be cleared up, okay? And that's just the way I see it. That's my belief system in the whole manner. You know what I'm saying? Let me know how you guys feel about it below because I feel like that's a great idea. You know what I'm saying? Well, anyway, man, let me know how you guys feel about this, man. I'm extremely excited about this matchup. This is a great, great matchup. This matchup here alone between those two champions is worth the $75 ticket on its own, in my opinion. I believe that everything else underneath this, this, that matchup is just extra, it's just extra bang for your buck. I don't see what the problem is. I don't see why people are saying that it's too overpriced. And man, get the fuck out of here, bro. I really believe that, you know, um, not only are we gonna get some more money coming in from the federal government real soon. You know what I'm saying, man? Man, go ahead and order this fight, bro. It's worth it in my, in my honest opinion. You know, and I just believe that we're going to see something that we've never seen in the ring before with these Charlo twins, man. They're going to do something amazing that night. And I really believe that Jamel Charlo is going to steal the show and, and, and show um, some of the new tools that he's been sharpening on in that ring that night against um, Jason Banana Rosario to unify that division and hopefully he can become the franchise champion after becoming the, uh, the lineal junior middleweight champion. Well, anyway, man, let me know how you guys feel about this in the comment section below. I'm done with this one. It's your boy E with Boxing Profits signing out to the next one. I'll let your boy. Shout out to H-Town 100. I'm out.